Okay, I'm back. My next review is probably going to be the most difficult review for a single action figure I've ever done. It's VC-25 Sail Barge R2-D2 for the Vintage Collection. First of all, what grabbed me about this figure is the card back. When I picked this up in the store, the card back is just, you know, simply awesome. Um, I'm glad I have an unpunched version from Entertainment Earth as well as one I can have opened. Here he is on back. And here's other figures on the wave. I'd like to point out R2-D2 is probably second to Darth Vader in releases from Hasbro and Kenna. I know I've complained they've re-released Darth Vader too many times, and they have. R2-D2 is a close, de definitely a close second there. You know, all six of the movies he's in, um, the Clone Wars cartoon, you know, just everything. But uh, this is a first release for the type, the specific figure for the sail barge. And, um, you know, I've know, I know they've done specific R2s before for different scenes. This is the first sail barge R2 with all the bells and whistles on it. Now, it's not the, uh, it's not so much the uh, articulation that's going to give me problems in this review. It's just all the accessories on it that's going to give me problems. For starters, uh, the drink tray is removable. And all seven of these glasses are removable from the drink tray. So you're probably definitely going to want a plastic bag to put R2 and all of his accessories into. Or else I'm almost 99% sure you're going to drop and lose something if you don't. So uh, there's the drink tray. Also, I want to point out this R2-D2 is slightly shorter than other R2s. I've got, I've got the one from Resurgence of the Jedi right here, also from the uh, Target Exclusive Android set. Just look, there's a slight height difference between the two. I think the reason they did that, they kept changing the, uh, the height of the main figures like Luke and Leia throughout the years. In fact, I looked up Luke in black he, <laughs> from the Power of the Force 2 on up to this one. And there's definitely several height changes. So I think they did this to be more in scale with Luke. You can set them up with that scene. Yeah, these figures are both definites for anyone who wants to recreate the uh, Jabba sail barge diorama. Just th they're they're definites for that scene. But wow, this R two D two, he comes with so much stuff. I'm gonna read off some of the accessory series got on him. Take me a while to read it off. Let's see, he's got a pop up lightsaber, a removable sensor scope, a rotating dome. Unless the dome is inside in this then the scope does not move. A retractable center leg, an opening chest panel revealing a folding inside arm, and he's got a bar bartending accessory, which I've already showed you. His articulation, he's got a swivel head, swivel legs, hinged ankles, and he doesn't have, he doesn't have wheels, but he does move up well along the ground like he does. And uh, some of the stuff is rather fragile, like his, uh, his removable panel here, but that that's just made. He's not like a, a, a rough and tough R2-D2. He's just made for display. Um, yeah, this is fragile. I would be careful right here. This is the uh, the arm. And as I've said, to move to move his leg up and down, here you can put his leg down like this, his center leg. You can pop it up. And if you notice, there's a hole right here on the top. Look at that. And either the sensor scope or the lightsaber will push the leg down again if you put them in. Watch. You pop the leg. Hold on, I did this before. There. You pop the leg, then you can pull the leg down. And that's same with the lightsaber. This can actually hide Luke's lightsaber to, you know, to a point. So I think that's kind of cool. Look at that. Ah. Now it's inside. Now you've got to pop the leg back up to get the sensor scope out. See, the sensor scope hides. Then you, then you, it's the same with the lightsaber. I'll put Luke's lightsaber in here. Uh, the other way. There. Just like in the movie, he can hide Luke's lightsaber for him until needed. Got it backwards, though. There you go. There, it's down. Uh, I can't quite get it. I'm not going to play with it all day, but the lightsaber is supposed to hide in there. But anyway, this is an amazing R2-D2. And like a lot of Hasbro stuff, it isn't uh, rough and tumble, take it outside and play with it st stuff that Kenner had. This is more like just delicate display stuff. So um, this is definitely a good R2-D2. It goes well with the new Jabba, the hut that came out, and the Camorian Guard. And I know they released several Jabba's palace aliens and accessories throughout the uh, later part of the Legacy Collection and the Vintage Collection. So you'll definitely want to pick him up if you don't already have him. And overall, you know... I'm going to probably give him at least a 9.25. He could be a bit more sturdy overall. This arm goes in, by the way. This arm, watch this. You pop the arm in. 
you close. There you go. He could be a bit more sturdy overall, but that's the only thing about him that I'm going to hold against him. But uh, I'll, I'll probably give him at least a 9.25. They have put a lot of thought in this R2-D2. I'll give him that. They've put tremendous amount of thought into this. And he's a must for anyone who likes Jabba's Palace. So I hope you enjoy this review. This is Supreme signing out, and as always, thank you for tuning in.